welcome to Emilac uh, online tutorial now let us consider this question and it says what is the value of y as x approaches 5 in this uh, equation where y equals x raised to the power of 2 plus 5x minus 50 all over 5 minus uh, I mean x minus 5 now this is in the case of limit as x approaches 5 now if we look at this if we just plug in x equals to 5 into this expression or rather this equation you have 5 raised to the power of 2 now plus 5 times 5 minus 50 all over 5 minus 5 sorry and this will give us this is 25 plus 25 we give us 50 minus 50 all over 5 minus 5 which will give us 0 over 0 and this is undefined okay and I said it in my previous video into in the introduction of limit that's when you have an expression and you plug in the value of x and you arrive at 0 over 0 it implies that you've not simplified this equation to the simplest or to the reduced form all right now let us now simplify this equation that is the right hand side to the simplest uh, form okay and in this case now we have to factorize the numerator now factorizing the numerator we will look at what factor what two factors are we can we multiply i mean yeah we will multiply to give you negative 50 and when we add those two factors it will give you uh, 5 okay and looking at this we should have a positive 10 positive 10 and negative 5 why because when we multiply 10 times negative 5 it will give us negative 50 and when we add this together when we add the two together it will give us what positive 5 okay now these are the two factors now what we need to do here now is to say that x raised to the power of 2 now plus 10 y 10 x now minus 5 x minus 50 all over x minus 5 now you don't plug in 5 until you reduce it to the smallest uh, form of the expression so to this effect i mean to this point let us now factorize you can see what what factor is is common here it is x you have x into x plus 10 the what factor is common between 5x and negative 50 you will see it is 5 then here you have x then plus 10 now some of you might be asking that uh, this is negative and why is it positive now this is because when you factor out 5 out here you have negative 5 I, I, I follow you so this negative tends to affect this negative will give us what positive and which implies that when you also open this bracket you have this value also okay all right now you can see that for 5 I mean for x and negative 5 we also have a common factor which is what x plus 10 so you bring that out here you have x plus 10 and x minus 5 all over x minus 5 now you can see that we have a common factor between the numerator and the denominator we cannot eliminate so at this point now we cannot introduce our limit as x approaches 5 so then this will give us 5 plus 10 which is what 15 so it implies that for this uh, equation as x approaches 5 the whole function here approaches 15 okay all right if you love what i've just done let me sorry let me have more examples worked in this video 
Uh, let us consider this question. We have to evaluate the limit of x minus 2 in bracket, open bracket, x squared plus 3x minus 2 close bracket, all over x squared, x raised to the power 2 minus 4, as x approaches 2. All right, in this case, let us reduce uh, this expression here. So we have x minus 2. Now, uh, x raised to the power of 2 plus 3x minus 2 all over. Now, uh, x raised to the power of 2 minus, add 4 here, can be also written as 2 raised to the power of 2. Okay? Now, to this effect, I mean, to this point now, let us recall that a raised to the power of 2 minus b raised to the power of 2 is given as a plus b all over into minus a sorry into a minus b okay and if let us apply this rule to the numer I mean to the denominator here we have x minus 2 x square plus 3x minus 2 all over here in this in this case now if I have to apply this rule here we have x plus 2 or into x minus 2 okay and you can see we have the same factor for the numerator and the denominator you can now eliminate so we are left with x square plus 3x minus 2 all over x plus 2 okay now looking at this expression here now let us now plug in 2 for x in this expression. So we will have 2, in this case here now, we have 2 raised to the power of 2, now plus 3 times 2 minus 2, all over 2 plus 2. So we'll come over here, you have 4 plus 6 minus 2, all over 4, which will give us 4. Now, 6 minus 2 gives us 4, plus 4 all over 4. So here we have 8 over 4, which will give us 2 as uh, the final answer. So it implies that as x approaches 2, this whole expression of function also approaches 2. Okay, now let me do two more examples and we'll end this class thank you now let's consider these three questions now the limit of x raised to the power of 2 minus a raised to the power of 2 all over x minus a as x tends to a is so first thing first is to reduce the expression if you can pause this video and solve this now to get your answer and after which you can come back then let us see what uh, the answer is now from this let us recall according to the algebraic uh, b raised to the power of 2 which is the the difference of our uh, two squares a plus b into a minus b and if you look at this expression is the same thing as this. It implies also that this uh, expression, which is being gotten from the, the, the right hand side of the equation, should be equal to also whatever it is given here. So it implies that x, x uh, plus a into x minus a all over x minus a. So, to this end, we can eliminate the both the uh, numerator and the denominator because they have the same factor. So, we are left with x plus a. And take note as x tends to a, so it, it implies that we are going to plug in a for x here. So, which gives us a plus a, which gives us what? 2a. So, it implies that as x tends to a, this function tends to 2a. 
Now, for the second one, as our custom is, we we'll reduce uh, this expression or the function to the to the lowest term. Now, and by reducing, we have to factorize the numerator here yeah, and also factorize the denominator. And if we have to factorize here, now let us look at the two factors that when we multiply will give us positive 3 and when we add them it will give us negative 4. So at this point we will have a negative 3 and negative 1. Okay, because negative 3 times negative 1 will give us positive 3. And when we add the 2, we have negative 4. So at the end we have x minus 3 into x uh, minus 1 then all over for the denominator this can also be x raised to the power of 2 minus 3 raised to the power of 2 and if this is true it definitely means that this this equation here should also be true with the right hand side of this algebraic equation so it also implies here that this is x minus or let us say plus 3 now into x minus 3 okay and you can see we have the same factor both of the numerator and the denominator we eliminate and take note as x approaches 3 or as x tends to 3 so we have that 3 minus 1 all over 3 plus 3 and this will give us 2 all over 6 it will give us uh, 1 over 3 and most likely this will give us 0 0.333 okay all right so it implies that as x approaches 3 this function here approaches 0 0.333333 all right for the last one here as our custom is we have to reduce this function here and we have to factorize both the numerator and the denominator now factorizing the numerator here what factor what two factors can we multiply to give you 20 and when we add will give us negative 9 and I believe those factors should be uh, negative 5 and negative 4 now negative 5 times negative 4 will give us positive 20 and negative 5 plus negative 4 will give us negative 9. So to this end, our numerator here will give us x minus 4 and x minus 5. Then for the numerator here, I mean, yeah, for the denominator rather, sorry. Now what will we multiply to give us negative 4 and we add to give us negative Three, two factors and those two factors could be negative 4 and uh, 1 okay because negative 4 times 1 will give us negative 4 now negative 4 plus 1 will give us negative 3 so we arrive at x minus 4 into x plus 1 so you can see that we have the same factor both on the numerator and the denominator we can now eliminate so this is the reduced uh, uh, form of this expression or function here so we can now plug in the value of what x which is what 4 because it approaches what 4 so here we have 4 minus 5 all over 4 plus 1 which will give us 1 over 5 okay and in decimal this should give us a uh, 0 point in 10 it is 2 okay so it gives us 0 0.2 all right now this is the solution to the above questions now if you love what i've just done can you subscribe to my youtube channel and ensure you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos in physics and mathematics thank you and god bless you Amen.